The scope of the project was to remove the antiquated light fixtures and upgrade them with LED lighting in the common areas and the high traffic areas. And then there are certain areas of our school which are dramatically different. And so when you walk into the Wildcat Cafe, for example, when you walk into uh, either one of our libraries, as another example, uh, we significantly upgraded the lighting in those areas. And so what our students are going to experience from a programmatic standpoint, from uh, what they experience when they walk into those spaces, uh, we're excited about that. So what we did was to customize the lighting. In the classrooms, we put in 4,000 Kelvin, which is still in the daylight spectrum, but it's warmer and a little more calming so that it create a nice learning environment for the students. In the common areas and in the gym, we put in a crisper 5,000 Kelvin to offer a little brighter light, more energizing light in the gym and the hallways. We looked at the learning environment in particular. I know our teachers are excited about what we landed on. Uh, they feel like they've got exactly the right amount of light in the classroom, but at the same time, it's not, not too bright, not too harsh, uh, and they feel really good about the learning environment that's created. So in both the gyms, we provided a complete lighting overhaul where we removed the fluorescent lighting and installed LED fixtures to improve the overall foot candle of the space. Now when you walk in, I like the appearance of it. I like how the brightness extends to every corner of our main gym. So one of the challenges was working around the school schedule, being that they have class during the day and they have activities throughout the evening. So we had to work around their schedule so that this would be a smooth transition. Well, I would say that's gone remarkably well. I've heard zero complaints about uh, when the work has been done, that it's been in our way, and so really to have Helios coming in and, and to work around our schedule, uh, you know, I think they've been over backwards to, to make this a good experience on our side. Uh, given the scope of the project, that's pretty remarkable. What I also wanted to add about the Helios team, I, I just think everyone's been very professional. The interactions uh, with members of the team have all been positive. And so I think, again, the team bent over backwards uh, to try to make this learning environment a great one for our students. So I'm, I'm thankful to the Helios team because they really worked hard and delivered on what they said they could deliver on. I'm very excited about the partnership with Helios and Downson Christian Academy. I like the fact that they have taken steps and it makes me feel proud that they, are, they have done this in my community because I believe so much in the fact that we have to make changes to make our environment better, that this school has taken the first step and hopefully um, other schools in this community will do the same thing. And I would add that people understand the importance of a project like this because they realize that this is again a no-brainer in terms of what it can do for the school, what it does for using less energy, which is an environmental piece to it as well, but also then what it's going to mean for our students in the long run as we spend more dollars on their experience and less dollars literally keeping the lights on, right? So. I'm really happy with the results and I'm proud of the partnership between Donaldson Christian Academy and Helios and what we were able to accomplish here.